Hello, welcome to SIO 3D Sports presentation that asks whether Serena Williams can make it on the ATP Tour. It has been reported many times that Serena only practices with men at the ATP level. The first two questions to ask are, can she serve as well as a man and can she hit a forehand as well as a man, as these are the two dominant shots in professional men's tennis. Return to serve and agility will also be key factors. But without a big serve and a big forehand, you're in trouble on the ATP Tour. Serena's large, muscular, and athletic physique appears to suit the men's game. Let's use 3D motion analysis and see how Serena's forehand stacks up against the big boys on the ATP Pro Tour. By viewing the 3D models of Roger Federer and a similar Serena Williams forehand, we can see many similarities, but we can also view subtle differences. It's these subtle differences that will make or break Serena Williams on the ATP Tour. By quantitatively measuring, we can find out the truth about what Serena is doing to the ball at impact. Here we see that Serena is swinging 59.4 miles an hour on average, and that is well within elite ranges of the ATP Pro Tour. This is how fast her racket is moving forward. The average 1,024 ATP ranked player only swings forward at 54.2 miles an hour. Serena is actually swinging a bit harder than the number one player in the world, Novak Djokovic, that is in the forward direction. Things can change when we look at things in three dimensions. In biomechanical analysis, we can use something called impulse. That's force applied over time. Serena has a greater impulse because she applies force longer because her backswing is larger. So she has to do her backswing earlier. The advantage is she can get a great forward X velocity. The disadvantage is if the ball's coming fast, she better start a lot sooner than Roger Federer. Serena's average forward velocity from the SIO 3D Sports database is ha as hard or harder than the 1,024 average ranked player. It's even harder than Novak Djokovic. It's almost as hard as Federer and Nadal. But let's take a look at the upward velocity of the racket head, which is closely related to spin in research. By looking at how fast these players swing upward, we see an area in which Serena Williams would have to adjust her game if possible. She swings upward 38% less than Nadal, 30% less than Djokovic, and 34.2% less than Federer. She even swings upward 20% slower than the average 1,024 player on the ATP Tour. Serena reaches the lowest point in her swing much earlier than Federer. Therefore, she has a greater amount of time to apply the upward force. Yet, her upward racket tip velocity does not match Federer's, Nadal's, Djokovic's, or even the 1,024 players in the world. Putting these ideas together, we have that Serena hits the ball hard with far less spin. Therefore, she must be more precise, have better control to keep the ball in. But if it does go in, it's going to get there quickly because it has less spin to slow it down. When we divide the amount of forward velocity you put on the ball toward the target by the upward velocity you put on the ball creating spin, we get what some call the power to spin relationship. In physics, forward velocity is not power and upward velocity is not spin. But in tennis in general, this is what's come to pass to be the name of this ratio. They are related to how fast the ball goes forward compared to how fast a player is swinging upward to create spin. When you're hitting the ball extremely hard, the ball will go long unless you spin it enough to curve it down and in. The question is, is how much spin do I need when I'm hitting the ball hard? So you compare these two things and we get the power to spin ratio. That's where it's helpful. The best players in the world, say Nadal, Federer, and Djokovic, the people with lots of grand slams, have about 1.54 to 1.62 for their power to spin ratio. ATP Tour players ranked around 1,024 have a power to spin ratio of 
1.75. Serena, though, is way up there at 2.37. That's 2.37 times more forward velocity than upward velocity. Our informal study shows that Serena can hit the ball fast enough forward to hang with some of the big boys, but can she control her ball enough to keep it in consistently? Serena's large backswing helps her swing harder, but it takes longer, and she doesn't make as much upward velocity as the ATP guys. Can Serena Williams make it on the ATP tour? Maybe. Jimmy Connors was number one in the world and has won more ATP matches than anybody ever, and he hit the ball flatter than Serena. Of course, she has a bigger serve. Maybe we should look at that next time. I'm Jim Shaughnessy. Thanks for watching.